Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing the third part of our series, Top HTML Interview Questions. If you haven't already, please make sure to watch the first two videos of this series as they cover some important interview questions. We will be diving into even more crucial HTML interview questions in this video. So be sure to stay tuned and take notes. Let's get started. So the very first question on today's list is what is the difference between the ID and class attributes in HTML? So the key difference between the ID and class attributes in HTML is that the ID attribute identifies a unique element on the page while the class attribute identifies a group of similar elements. The ID attribute is used to uniquely identify a particular element on the page and can be assigned only one uh, to only one element per page. It is commonly used for JavaScript and CSS manipulation as it allows developer to easily target and manipulate specific elements on the page. On the other hand, the class attribute is used to identify a group of elements that share similar characteristics such as styling or behavior. It can be assigned to multiple elements on a page, allowing developers to apply styles or functionality to multiple elements at once. The second question on today's list is, what are the different types of list in HTML? So the different types of list in HTML are ordered list, unordered list and definition list. Let's start with ordered lists. An ordered list is a number list of items. Each item in the list is preceded by a number starting with one by default. To create an ordered list, use the ol tag and wrap each list item in li tags. Unordered list. An unordered list is a list of items that is not numbered. Each item in the list is preceded by a bullet point by default. Then comes the definition list. A definition list is a list of terms and their definitions. Each item in the list consists of a term followed by its definition. Let's see the examples of ordered list, unordered list and definition list in the example here. The next question that we will be covering today is, is HTML case sensitive? So the answer to the question is no, HTML is not case sensitive. HTML tags, attributes and values are not case sensitive. This means that you can write them in uppercase, lowercase or in a combination of both. You can see this in the example here. However, it is a best practice to use lowercase for HTML tags and attributes to enhance code readability and maintain consistency. On the other hand, the content within the HTML element such as text is case sensitive and will be displayed as entered. Next, we will be covering a question that is often asked in interviews and is, I think, one of the most confusing one. So what is the difference between anchor tag and the link tag? The anchor tag is used to create a hyperlink in HTML that links to another web page or a specific location on the same web page. When a user clicks on the anchor tag, it takes them to URL specified in the href attribute of the tag. The link tag is used to link external resources to an HTML document. This can include style sheets, icons or other files that are necessary for the web page to function properly. The link tag is usually placed in the head section of the HTML document. You can see in the example here. So the key difference between the anchor tag and the link tag is that the anchor tag creates a hyperlink to another web page or a specific location on the same web page while the link tag links external resources such as style sheets or other files to an HTML document. Moving on to the next question, how do you create a table in HTML? So. To create a table in HTML, you can use the table tag along with the other tags such as tr for table rows and th for table headers. 
TD for table cells. Here's an example code snippet that creates a basic table with two rows and two columns. In this example, the table tag defines the start of the table while each row is defined using the TR tag. Within each row, you can define the header cells using the TH tag and the regular cells using the TD tag. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for tuning in to this video on HTML interview questions. I hope you found the information helpful and informative. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel for more useful content. I will be back with more videos in this series. So please let me know in the comment section below what topics or questions you would like us to cover next. I appreciate your feedback and I am always striving to provide you with the most relevant and up-to-date information on HTML. Until next time, take care and keep learning.